Hey folks, how's it going? Sandro here from socialwoodworks.com. Today I'm making a video on the uh, process that I use to cut juice grooves in our cutting board. So stay tuned and uh, we'll get into the video in one sec. Thanks. All right, so the first thing I did here was uh, took my tape measure and I measured the distance between the edge of the blade and the edge of my router. And here, since this isn't really a standard cutting board that I make, it's custom, I took a few measurements to determine uh, just how far in I wanted to place the juice groove. In my case, I wanted it one inch from the sides. Then I took a scrap piece of plywood that I had lying around and I traced the outside of the cutting board onto the plywood and since the measurement from the edge of my blade to the outside of my router was two and a half inches and I want the juice groove one inch from the edge of the cutting board I'm going to use a one by two stock which will give me the perfect dimensions uh, to form a frame around my cutting board so I take the measurements and I cut out my stock accordingly last piece of 1x2 cut. Now here I'm just simply pre-drilling each piece of 1x2 uh, so that the, they don't split when I screw them down to the uh, plywood. And go ahead and screw each piece down uh, as a frame around the cutting board. So now I'll have one and a half inch separation all the way around my cutting board. last few screws in. Next I take a measurement of the outside of the frame to get my new measurements for my 1x2 stock that I'm going to place end up that will be the frame that my router actually runs around. Same thing here I pre-drill each piece of wood so that it doesn't split. And on these I'm pre-drilling near the bottom edge because I'm going to screw these into the side of the frame that I already put up as you can see here. So now if you, if you notice I have a 1x2 frame around the cutting board and then I have a 1x2 end up which provides a lip that my router will run across. Last few screws in, and we'll get out the router. So here I set my router depth to about one eighth inch for the first pass, and I'm going to do two passes total for about a quarter inch juice screw. You want to make sure you put your router in perfectly straight along that edge, and you simply run your router around the framed edge that you just constructed. And there's my first pass and I'm going to go ahead and adjust it down to about a quarter inch. Same process all the way around. And as long as you keep your router steady and you have it flush along the edges of the frame you built, you really can't go wrong. And there you have it. There's a quarter inch deep juice groove, one inch around the whole cutting board. Thanks for watching guys. If you'd like to purchase a custom cutting board or any other woodworking project, please visit our website socialwoodworks.com. I'll throw a link in the description below for you to click on. Uh, please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe to our channel. Thanks a lot and stay tuned for more woodworking videos. See ya.